Oh, hello, you wrong one. Angus me coat up. Oh, brilliant. Hi, Adrian. New to your channel and so far loving what I see and hear. I'm guilty, if you can call it that, of being drawn in by Alex Belfield. Lockdowns was, of course, a nightmare for us all, so to tune into him was a bit of light relief. I agree, Angus me coat up. Um, I, I've said this repeatedly. Look, it was really tough during lockdown. We were told it was only going to be for, for five weeks. It ended up being two years. All of it, all of it was troublesome and difficult. And a bit of light relief, putting smiles on people's faces. Brilliant. Eventually, though, I got bored of him and I started doubting his antics. Was the stuff he was telling us genuine? Was he as skint as he made out he was? He had his doors bashed in on a few occasions. Oh, that was for comedic effect, Angus. Comedic effect. Um, yeah, no, he wasn't telling you. He wasn't being genuine. He wasn't telling you the truth. Um, Angus says, I, f I felt sorry for him and what was happening to him. Then came, and um, by the way, he didn't have his back doors bashed in. He didn't have any doors bashed in. The police were very, I saw the video of him going, what do you want? And they were, we want to come in. They were, they were gathering evidence for the court case that he was sentenced for. You know the one where he, he stood up in front of a jury, was found guilty on four counts and sentenced to five years inside? The police were going to look at his, uh, his computer. And from the information that I've been given, 40 odd thousand emails. 40 odd thousand emails in the stalking and harassment. Then came the lead to the court case and the case itself. All this stuff was coming out about his misdemeanours. I thought, mm, I've been hoodwinked here. He's not actually the decent guy I thought he was after all. To be honest, Adrian, I felt let down. He made me laugh out loud on many occasions. He also made me cringe, especially when he was taking uh, the Michael out of Carol Vorderman and Diane Abbott. Funny at first, but then it just got plain boring. Then he started rubbing salt into our wounds by jetting off first class to America. Hang on a cotton picking minute here. I thought he was hard up. Thank God I didn't fall into the trap and pay him any money. Once he started asking for money, alarm bells were ringing in my head. Anyway, Adrian, to you now. I, I turn for a bit of factual stuff and your light-hearted touch on life. I just, as uh, many an ex-girlfriend will, um, no, I won't do that gag. Um, it was a light touch gag. Um, uh, the one thing I ask of you is this. Please don't let me down like Alex Belfield did. All the best, mate. Well, I don't want your money. <laughs> I'm not going to ask for it. I mean, the, the best thing that Alex could have done is just being transparent about everything. Everything. So all the money he got in, he could have said, right, you've given me £350,000. Now, it's gone straight to and I will publish everything. He had, the, he had YouTube videos. He could have done it all. He didn't. So no, unless I get right in the shite um, and I need help, I would rather ask for your help and your time than your money. I don't need your money.